Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love spread for the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Or if you are dealing with a Capricorn, you can see if these messages resonate. All right, so let's see what's going on. My Capricorns. Moon rising Venus, Capricorn. I hope you all are doing well. Okay, so current situation. Some of you are feeling like you are unable to move on from a situation, from a connection here. Um, it's like you feel like you will be victorious and walking away from this person, but you always end up coming back. It's like a repetitive cycle. Yeah, here you are. Um, you could live with this person, but there's just a lot of like, uh, toxic energy here. This person could... Um, try to control you. They could be very manipulative. And you love this person. So that's part of the problem. You love this person, but but they're just... They could be, uh, like I said, manipulative, toxic here. Yeah, the devil come out again. What happened in the past between you and this person? Okay. So at one point, this person made you really happy. This was that, something that you wished for. Could be an Aquarius, Aries. Um, somebody was really defensive here. Somebody could have been getting attention from somewhere else. What's on your mind? Hmm. This person's shady. What's going on? Mm -hmm. This person could drink a lot too. Self, this is like a very selfish energy. This person only thinks and cares about themselves. Um, they could have a drinking problem. Immediate future. I see you cutting this person off. Healing. Cutting this person off. Uh, you are at a crossroads. Though, I always try to make that decision here. And you feel trapped. You feel stuck. There's a lot of internal work that needs to be done. You might need to get some help in order to move past this. Because I do see this person is very manipulative. Your fears. Yeah, you fear ending this. You fear not being able to end this. It's in your environment. Secrets. Okay, so you're keeping something a secret. Maybe a connection with somebody from your past here. You could be um, communicating with somebody from your past. Somebody that you knew from a child, a past connection, um, a friend even. But you're keeping it to yourself, your hopes. Or that's them even. They could be communicating with somebody from their past. Maybe somebody they were married to. You're hoping to move past this, but you, um, you're waiting for something. What's the outcome? There's not going to be any forward movement with this person. You're not going to get the victory with this person. This person's very difficult to work with. This person's also giving to somebody else. Um, which I feel like you know that. Whoever I'm reading for does know that. But there's also another person here from their past. They're shady. I feel like, because this is what you're thinking about. You're thinking about all the shit this person put you through. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Yeah, yeah, you're showing up as the Nine of Wands. So it's like you have been dealing with this for a long time. You have the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of 
cups, four of swords. So it's like you're thinking about um, taking a break from this and putting yourself first. You're thinking about all the shit this person put you through. What messages do you have for Capricorn? You felt like this was the one at one point. Yeah, deception. This person's shady. I don't like their energy at all. Capricorn. Codependency. Yeah, so you could be, um, let your friends help you. Okay. So you could be um, financially dependent on this person. Um, and you're waiting to figure some something out in order to um, move away from this person. Or some of you do need help moving away from this person, a support system, something like that. I've, I have had this toxic energy in your readings for a long time, actually, when I do the Capricorn readings. So I hope that you guys are able to move away from this energy, move away from this person. If you're thinking about it, put yourself first and move move on from this because this person is really toxic all right let's see what's going to come in for you after you release this let's get some positive energy here what's going to come in after capricorn releases this toxic person okay good See lots of communication, lots of passion. Somebody that communicates very well. <laughs> this person could live at a distance from you. I feel like you guys have been through, you and this person will have been through a lot of the same things. So you guys will understand each other. And things will, okay, this could be somebody from your past. Um, and when you guys get back into communication, it could be online communication. Things will move very quickly between you and this person. Mm -hmm. This is there. There will be a lot of stability and love in this connection that's going to be coming in for you. And I do see it's from somebody from your past. So you already know this person. The next person that you're going to be with. All right, could be a fire sign, could be an Aries specifically, Leo, Sag, Aries, um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's going to be a lot of passion between the two of you. And as I said before, things will be moving very quickly between you and this person when they do come in. But this is after you release this situation that you're dealing with now. I just wanted to... Um, give you some insight on what's coming for you after you release this negative person in your life. Okay, so those are the messages I have for you. Um, if you resonate, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys soon.